Hello everyone. A cozy home can be built anywhere. In a former prison, a two-story bus, a water tower, or even inside a huge boulder. Don't believe us? See for yourself. Let's get it on. They say a man should raise a son, plant a tree, and build a house. Well, the last point doesn't seem so hard. Thanks to modern technology, this task can be accomplished in one day. This unique dome-shaped dwelling can be completed in a matter of hours. It's a lot cozier than you might think. There's room for everything you might need. A kitchen with enough surface for cooking and eating, two bedrooms, closets, and a bathroom. And most importantly, you can set up such a house in a tree, making your childhood dreams come true. Remember the unusual moving stairs at Hogwarts? We have something similar to show you. This is probably about how you imagine the bunker would look like. But you'll be very surprised to see what it may be hiding inside it. This bunker is equipped with solar panels, an air filtration system, and of course, reinforced doors. Overall, it's got everything you might need to survive underground for a long time. It also features a terrific spacious kitchen, storage rooms, comfortable bathrooms, lots of sleeping areas, and even a giant greenhouse, so you don't have to worry about any kind of apocalypse. You're about to see a house that looks like something George Lucas might create. But this house has nothing to do with space, much less the Star Wars saga. What you see is the brainchild of French architect Eric Wasser, which he calls the Heliodome, and it's as much as 33 feet high. But the highlight of the house is the huge glass panels. Their designs taking into account the year-round trajectory of the sun's rays, and at the same time make the house absolutely open to the eyes of any passerby. The main purpose of this design is to make it environmentally friendly and self-sustainable. The house is equipped with solar panels with powerful batteries, and over summer they accumulate enough energy to last even the cold winter season. By the way, you can stay in this house too. Well, more like in its mini version, which is located not in France, but in Scotland. In such a cozy place, you can surely enjoy a wonderful digital detox, disconnect from gadgets, enjoy the scenic views, cook food from local farm products, and stargaze. However, if you're a busy freelancer, there's fast Wi-Fi and probably one of the most beautiful workspaces imaginable. Dreaming of a yacht is so old-fashioned. Now we're going to show you something much cooler. It's a yacht and a villa combined. A real floating fortress that you can cruise on at any time. And of course, everything about it is also very eco-friendly. The roof is lined with solar panels, which provide the home with energy, and rainwater is harvested too. Inside, everything is just as luxurious as in the typical land villa. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a terrace, and excellent equipment. Also, if you want to stop for a while somewhere in shallow water, you can use piles that come together with the villa. This way, you can travel from harbour to harbour all your life and never get bored. But that's only if you've got $10 million to spare. Another option for those who find yachts too boring. A unique floating hotel that looks like a flying saucer from an uncharted planet. The engines are electric, the panels are solar, the heating is provided by a wood stove, and air conditioning comes through a special hatch. 
Thanks to this, the hotel is fully autonomous and can stay afloat for a very long time without additional power sources. Inside, there are three living areas, including a living room with a huge window from which you can watch the sea creatures. What you see is no ordinary airplane, but a real palace for a true aviation fan, located in Lebanon. Inside this house, you'll find everything and then some to live in comfort and invite guests all year round. There's even a cool telescope next to the portholes, where you can look at the stars in low clouds. Though this plane will hardly take you to another continent. Another proof that a house doesn't have to be big at all if it's located in a scenic place. This cabin at Lake Inari in Finland already has everything you need. A soft bed and a panoramic ceiling to fall asleep right under the northern lights. Worried about the amenities? It's easy! The cabin is mobile, so it takes minutes to get to a central village with access to showers, toilets, a kitchen and various activities. Ever heard of modular homes? Here are their two main features. They take a couple of days to install and can be moved to another place easily. You can even install a house like that near the North Pole. Check out how it was assembled. Parts of the house were delivered by helicopter, and in a few days you could enjoy the warmth of the fireplace and watch the northern lights in it. By the way, anyone who's brave enough to get here can experience the same. The house was opened to tourists. Here's another unusual modular house project. This is not just a residential building. It is a house and a bridge combined, which also connects two banks of a small river. The interior is just as good as in any typical house, with amenities like light, sewerage, ventilation and heating. The authors describe their project as the perfect place for creativity, and when you look at these sun-drenched rooms with beautiful views of nature, you can see why. Wondering what they're building here? Actually, they're done. This crane is the building. You're looking at the Feralda, a five-star hotel that some call the most expensive in Amsterdam. It used to be a dilapidated construction crane, but after a major renovation, it's turned into an unusual tourist attraction. There are only three two-story rooms here, but each of them is unlike the other and the night in this room will cost you about 500 euros. However, there's a more budget-friendly way to get inside the unusual building. Visit the open-air roll-top bath installed on the roof. You don't have to be a hotel guest to do this. You can just pay 45 euros and enjoy the spa at the height of the bird's flight. Those who really don't like socializing will love this house. It's not just some nice cottage on the outskirts, but a shelter inside the very real rock, where no one will ever find you. The interior might be scarce, but it has everything you need for a comfortable life as a recluse and admiring the majestic Alps. Some people think it's impossible to build a giant house in the countryside without damaging the nature, but this amazing house in India proves them wrong. It was built to preserve the giant jackfruit tree growing on the property. That's why the front of the house twists around the trunk and obeys the laws of the plant world. To create a sense of complete privacy and tranquility, there's a Japanese garden with stones and a nice-looking interior with warm-coloured natural materials.
If you haven't already saved up for your own unusual house, you can always look for weekend rental options. Here, for example, is a wonderful house in Hawaii. But not a simple one, but standing right at the foot of the active volcano Kilauea, on molten lava. There's not much space inside, about 430 square foot, but every corner is used wisely. You can cook a nice dinner, watch a TV show, and take a hot shower. The sleeping space is located on the second floor and decorated with a stunning wall painting of a phoenix. This building might seem intimidating. You might even think that it's a prison or some kind of abandoned military laboratory. The building is indeed very old. It's a post-war house in the Philippines that was abandoned for many years. But then, a young architect found it and turned it into a small movie theater in the middle of a real bamboo forest. And this building is an actual prison. Well, it used to be. It's now a modern hotel, and only the shape of the common corridors hints at its past. The former prison is located in the Dutch city of Roermond, and the prisoners were serving their sentence here from the late 19th century to 2007. Then, 105 prison cells were transformed into 40 cozy rooms with all amenities. But at the same time, they tried to preserve the unusual spirit of the place. For example, they kept the prison doors. In addition, guests can stay in one of four suites with the original names – the jailer, the lawyer, the director, and the judge. Always found British double-decker buses fascinating? Well, good news. Now you can not only ride one, but even live in one. Meet the Olive, a traditional double-decker bus that has been turned into a house on wheels and placed right in the middle of a scenic forest near London. It can easily accommodate a group of up to five people. There's room for cooking, sleeping and relaxing. But the highlight is, of course, the washroom, right where the driver once sat. Houses with panoramic windows always look cool, but there's one catch. Privacy becomes the issue. Well, there is a solution to that problem too. Check out a unique solution London architects came up with. A house that slides in and out of a cover in a matter of seconds. Nothing will give you a better view of the Dutch city of Utrecht than these apartments. No wonder, they are located in a building that used to be a local water tower. Later, the tower was bought by a private entrepreneur who renovated the place and opened it to the public. Just imagine watching the sunsets here. Take a look at this house in Mexico. It's probably the kind of place you'd expect to meet the caterpillar with the hookah from Alice in Wonderland. If you get a little closer, you'll notice that the facade of this house is actually a reference to a giant octopus, and it looks almost as unusual on the inside as it does on the outside. The bathroom sink in the shape of a lion's head, the bright turquoise floors, the tropical stained glass windows, and the steep, magical staircases. All that was designed by Danilo Veras Godoy, a renowned Mexican architect.
We've already been to the house of Alice in Wonderland, and this place probably comes straight from Beauty and the Beast. Unfortunately, we can't peek inside the house yet. Polish artists have been working on it for several years and have just finished decorating the facade. But there's no doubt that in the future, this will be the place where the best tea parties in the area will be held. When you look at this futuristic house, you might think that's some kind of modern art object. But in fact, the concept of a plastic bubble house has been known in France since 1957. It was the idea of an architect Jean Manival, who built an entire village from such houses. Plastic bubbles take just three days to complete and are just as comfortable as conventional houses. No wonder they're still built today. The structures finished in the 60s are still in use and are in excellent condition. This has to be an art object, right? Well, in a way, it is. This house was built by an ordinary guy from Texas, John Milkovich. It all started when his supply of empty beer cans exceeded all conceivable limits. John was too reluctant to just throw them away, and he decided to use his collection for the design of the facade of the house. Over the next 20 years, he kept coming up with new things, turning the pole tabs into shiny curtains and the aluminium cans into wall siding. How is this not a masterpiece of architecture? You might not want to live in this house, but you probably wouldn't mind seeing it in some museum, which is actually what it was designed for. It's a fat house by the Austrian sculptor Erwin Worm, and with his work, he wanted to show how modern society has been taken over by consumer culture. Tolkien fans will definitely love this. Take a look, doesn't it look like a real Hobbit community? But this isn't a set for a new movie. This is how the tiny village of Sabione in Switzerland lives today. It's built right into a hill, and some of the houses are atop or underneath massive cliffs. No one seems to live here, and most of the year that's true. In summer, people return to this village to honour tradition and spend a few months without electricity. Watch an interesting movie in a few minutes without rewind? Easy. We've got a great looking audience tonight. The Sweet Popcorn Channel has a mega convenient format waiting just for you. Short retellings of movies, from auteur films to Hollywood blockbusters. Pick up your unlimited ticket by clicking the subscribe button.